welcome everyone. So uh, let's um, so let's start. So uh, it's, it's great to see uh, everyone coming this morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on your time zone. Uh, I am Alejandro Morales, uh, uh, Amherst, and uh, part of the organizing committee for Hipsack 2020 online. And uh, um, first, uh, we we have a, um, a few words from um, from several people. So the first so first uh, uh, we have Uzi Vishnev, who was the uh, the chair of the organizing committee of the original FIPSAC 2020 uh, in, in Israel. So uh, Uzi, uh, good afternoon Uzi. And, yeah. Okay, well, uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll get back to Uzi. Um, but uh, so next, uh, I guess, so, so from, the, from the executive committee and also part of the organizing committee, Yang Zhu, um, uh, just like to welcome everyone, so. Oh, uh, okay. Um, yeah, uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jang Soo Kim and I'm a member of the executive committee of FIPSAC and the organizing committee of FIPSAC 2020 online. On behalf of the executive committee, I'd like to welcome you all to this event. As you know, uh, FIPSAC 2020 was scheduled to take place in Ramat Gan, Israel, but had to be cancelled due to coronavirus and it was postponed to next year. We thank the organizing teams of Bangalore and Davis for their willingness to reschedule the FIPSACs they are organizing. Although the physical meeting has been canceled, we cannot miss the wonderful submissions already accepted for FIPSAC 2020. So we called for proposals for a virtual conference and three teams submitted their proposals independently. Uh, the three teams uh, joined the forces and after recruiting a few more people, the current organizing committee has been decided. Due to the limited time to prepare and the fact that this is the very first virtual FIPSAC, it must have been a great challenge to organize FIPSAC 2020 online. However, the members of the organizing committee have worked very hard and shown a fantastic collaboration to make this event possible. On behalf of the executive committee, I'd like to thank the organizing committee members for their exceptional work. We also thank Ellie Bagno and Olya Mendelstam for editing the proceedings under a very tight schedule and Christian Kratenteller for making them available in SLC. We hope that you have a pleasant experience during this online event. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yangsu. Um, so, uh, so next we have so Uzi, who, 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 is, uh, who had some internet difficulties, but now is here. So Uzi, take it away. Good afternoon. Thank you. Uh, so as you know, we were hoping to see you uh, all in Israel today, but then uh, coronavirus happened and uh, our plans changed as, uh, together with, uh, with those of a few billion others. Uh, we learned the advantages of, uh, of online is just uh, last week, uh, the same day I heard uh, seminar uh, lectures in uh, in Sydney, in Novosibirsk, and in uh, San Diego. Uh, so this was uh, this was great, uh, and uh, and so I, I want to thank the organizers of the current event for saving uh, FIPSAC 20 and uh, making uh, this event happen. And I hope uh, that it will be as successful as as we all wish for it to be. Uh, but uh, as much as our profession is is based on uh, internal thought process which happens in, in solitude, we also learned the, the importance of uh, social interaction for uh, our own research. And uh, in, in this note, I, I do hope to see everyone uh, in Israel uh, next year. Um, uh, well, we, have, we do have great plans and, uh, and uh, we are looking forward for this event to be, to be happening in the in real world. And we will be posting the, the link to the uh, website uh, later on this week. And uh, so I just want to wish everyone a successful event. Thank you very much, Uzi. Um, and yeah, we'll post the link uh, so soon. So, um, so next, so uh, th this, this conference, um, I've heard some rumors that people think that it's, it's very long. It's only three weeks. And uh, it features the, the, all, all the great contributed work and the contributed talks and most of the contributed posters of FIPSAC. And this would not have been possible without the work of the, of the program committee. So, and, so now we have one of the co-chairs, uh, Yuval Reichman, who's going to say a few words. Thank you. Good afternoon, Yuval. Thank you. I hope that you will see me because I see you. I don't see myself. We see you. It is a great pleasure and honor to open the FPSAC 2020 online. On behalf of the program committee, 
I would like to thank, first of all, the many, many authors who submitted their work to the conference. It was, I would like, I would have, I have to admit, it was a very difficult task to choose the excellent from the very, very good. I hope and, I, and we hope and we are sure that we will all enjoy the presentation fruits of these stimulating works. Thanks a lot to all members of the program committee, as well to the many experts and secondary reviewers who agreed to serve as referees for the submissions. I would like to tell you, to say you face to face as we can these days, that your work was crucial for the success of this conference. Thanks to the executive committee, to the original organizing committee and to the organizing committee of the online edition for the combined efforts and very quick action to produce an online three week virtual, virtual event. So good luck and let us all enjoy this wonderful meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yuval, those words. Um, and so now uh, we will start soon. So I, first I would like to identify the, the organizing committee. So uh, we've done a great work and it's been great, great uh, working together for the last, uh, since, since May. So they're gonna virtually Ooh, raise their hand. As they, and, um, so they'll virtually raise their hand and I'll, I'll say their, their name. So we have uh, Dan Betea, uh, we have uh, Sarah Billy, uh, Angela Carnevale, who will also be a speaker. Uh, Laura Colmenarejo will also be a speaker. We have Christian Getz. Um, Sean Griffin uh, will also be a speaker, but also Christian. And Helen Jen will speak, speak, speak later today. Uh, Yang Su Kim, which you already heard. And Matos Komalinka, who organized Ipsac last year and was helping us. Uh, and Nicola Thierry. Um, so yeah, so if you can virtually raise your hands. And, um, okay, um, so... Uh, we, so maybe, we, so next I wanted to just uh, sh uh, show you the, maybe some, some rules and maybe maybe a, a code of conduct we wrote based on, uh, inspired by some other conferences. So um, if I may, so, so, uh, so the organizing committee of FIPSAC 2020 wants to provide uh, a rewarding and welcoming experience for all. And uh, we are committed to ensuring that this conference is professional and free of harassment and discrimination in all of its events. And, uh, and we want to have a supportive environment that benefits from the diversity of the experiences of all its participants. And uh, we, we aim to offer equal opportunity and treatment to every participant regardless of their mathematical experience, gender identity, nationality, race or ethnicity, religion, age, marital, marital status, sexual orientation, disability, or any other factor. And we will not tolerate any discrimination or harassment. And if, if you experience any harassment uh, or discriminatory behavior during the conference, please reach out to any member of the organizing committee so that we might take appropriate action. And uh, then this is an online conference and you know, we're figuring out the, the special rules for that. And uh, we, we require that every participant in the, in, the, in the online conference represent themselves by the name they would use in the professional work or they would use in a, in a conference and, and, and hope in, if possible in the Latin alphabet, then we will, but we'll, um, uh, and if, if you have any con any questions about this, please ask uh, any, a member of the organizing committee. And uh, um, and yes, we will take appropriate actions if if, if someone maybe uh, um, violates this code. And uh, and uh, so again, if you witness if you witness any harassment or discriminatory behavior, please consider intervening. And we we need the whole community to work together to make this event a w as welcoming and a rewarding experience. Um, for all of us. Uh, so, and so thank you. And, and this is based on um, parts of agreements of Federico Ardila for, of, the, of ECHO, and, uh, which is based on, uh, and on also the online code of conduct of Eurocrypt. And there's some links here. So um, you can find this on, on our website. Uh, um, so lastly, I want to tell you about some, some, online, some online events. So there was a really nice puzzle hunt yesterday by Vivian Ripoll, and we'll post some photos on that. Uh, but we have more uh, events coming up. We have, uh, um, I want to tell you about designing your own t-shirt contest and uh, you can submit uh, your designs by Friday, July 17th. And it's great to see all these, uh, all these, uh, seeing all of you with t-shirts from previous FIPSACs. Uh, we also have a best Zoom background um, and same deadline, July 17th. Um, and uh, we also want to uh, open, uh, we have a, all coffee breaks and if you have other ideas for for events uh, please contact 
Helen Jen or Laura Comenarejo, who you can find on the website. Um, and uh, I wanted to also tell you about the banquet. So the conference banquet will take place um, next Saturday, and we will open this this Zoom link for 24 hours. But yeah, but we but uh, but uh, we won't be like hosting events. We want to open uh, that so that uh, pe people maybe can go if if it's allowed, they can join together uh, and uh, in your region. Or uh, um, so we just want to. Um, so, so the link will be open, but uh, and if possible, maybe if some of you who are local can can get together if it's allowed, um, we uh, want to encourage that. Um, okay, and uh, and then this this Friday we were going to have a panel on the coffee break, which is scheduled, uh, and we have some ideas for for panels. But if if you want if you um, um, if you have uh, some ideas, please contact Laura Colmenarejo. So the the event so the, some information is in schedule here. Um, Okay, and uh, for so 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 um, this is for for Friday. So the so and then today and then we we have some elevator introductions also for some coffee breaks. So if you want to prepare, um, like a one minute. So, so for example, today uh, sorry on Wednesday, uh, if you want to prepare a, a, a one minute elevator pitch and when you are in your breakout rooms, tell that to people. Um, okay, um, so that's. Uh, so that's it for me, and I want to pass it to our moderator today, uh, uh, Sarah. So, good morning, Sarah. Hello, everybody. Welcome, FIPSAC 2020. It's our 32nd FIPSAC, and uh, we certainly have been putting working hard to get this together for you. So, Alejandro, I'm going to stop your sharing, oh, yeah. and so we can prepare for the first talk. All right, I had one more follow-up message too, actually for everybody. Um, some of you may not have participated in the puzzle hunt yesterday. Um, Bennett Geckner mentioned that he wanted to attend and didn't, he wasn't able to. So I asked him if he would volunteer to lead a, a, a puzzle hunt for those of you who missed it yesterday and he happily agreed. So we will give you contact information for Bennett Geckner and if you're interested in doing it, that way you may have a group, he, he'll organize groups of people who are left over and want to give it a try still. Okay, so without further ado, let's switch over to Vincent Pellod. Vincent, can you start sharing your screen? Great, all right. So let me check the time. We actually have one minute to go, so uh, everybody take a deep breath, get yourself a cup of coffee, and uh, we will start right on time. <laughs> 